Hey everybody. So I'm a little behind with my update. Um, this week is my 10th week. So this will be the 9th and the 10th week update. Um, overall, I'm doing pretty well. Um, not haven't been happy with the numbers last week or this week. Um, this week was a little bit better. I did lose three pounds, but I gained them back. So this is a, a change in pace for me. It seems like the more I do um, working out and doing the treadmill, the slower my weight loss goes, which is really ironic. So if anyone else notices that too, if you can give me some insight as to why my weight loss is slowing down when I'm picking up more exercise. I've been doing about two miles in 30 minutes now, increasing my incline. I'll start off about 3.5, go up to four, four and a half. And try to sprint at five and then back down and I just repeat that for 30 minutes. So what are my numbers? So last week, um, the week of the 22nd, Tuesday um, last week was my nine week. So I weighed in then at 229.2 and I had lost four and a quarter inches. So that was a good week. Uh, so this week, um, between Tuesday and monday i went to my mom's for easter we had a good time i left friday and went there so i didn't weigh myself since friday morning well friday morning i weighed and i had lost three pounds so that put me at the 60 pound mark and i was blown away i'm happy very happy about that so when i was at mom's um you know we went out we had um a great time i did get my mom out on the trail a little bit we did some walking then and then we had a uh, church on Sunday, went to Easter program. So I didn't work out on Sunday, but then I started getting sick. I don't know if I'm getting another cold, chest, bronchitis, viral. I don't know what it is. Um, but I felt really crappy yesterday, so I came home and got in the bed. I was in bed by 7.30. I know it's pitiful. So I didn't work out yesterday, but then I worked out today. Well, I weigh myself this morning, and I'm back to 228, which is still great. It's been forever since I've been in the 20s. I don't think I've been in the 20s since whew, I was in my 20s. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I was probably 26, 25, 26 when I was in the 220s. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy about that. But I just want to know why am I gaining a pound and a half? I know I'm sick. Maybe I'm holding fluid. It's not that time yet. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, I weighed 228 this morning. So, it puts my overall weight loss at 59 pounds officially on the books. And that puts, let's see, I lost two and a quarter inches this week. And that puts me at a total... Of 46 and a quarter inches lost in 10 weeks that's awesome that is awesome I become more and more amazed um, with the results of the surgery since I've had the surgery just things are so different you know of course you the scale and um, the clothing I'm running out of clothes that fit nothing will fit I put on this dress that I wore last year I loved it. It's just a long black maxi dress. It's got some little designs up here. And uh, I went to put it on Friday and it drugged the floor by four inches. So apparently my chest and my booty and my shoulders held it up. And unfortunately, those things are going down. Um, my friend said, <laughs> she said, when you have the surgery, they don't tell you you're going to lose the three B's. And that's your butt, your belly, and your boobs. Well, I tell everybody's telling me that my chest is going down. Well, I say they're deflating. Everybody else is saying my chest is getting smaller. But it's like, to me, they're deflating because instead of being up here at my chin, they're they're going down. <laughs> but it's it's funny. Anyway, um, so what else? What else? What else? My jeans that I was so ecstatic about wearing, the 17s, they're getting loose on the thighs already, which is great. Um, been working on my legs, trying to 
get them toned up. See my legs? But I'm worried about this. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a good spot, is it? Mm-mm. All jiggly right there. Um, been trying to figure out some ways to tighten that up. Don't want a lot of loose skin hanging around my thighs. So, what else? What else? What else? I still can't eat chicken breast. I tried. I made a dish. And I was sick because I don't know what. Uh, so I ended up having to boil the chicken breast down three times in order to eat it without being sick. So that's something I've had to adjust with. I tried to eat green beans yesterday. I couldn't do it. I don't know what the problem with that was. Maybe I just ate them too quickly. It was the first time I think I've had green beans. But um, I like them. That was my favorite before. So I'm going to try it again. Uh, oh, one thing that I did make, and it was really, really good. I'm driving back from my mom's. It's about an hour and a half, two hour drive. So I was driving back from my mom's, and I got to thinking, hmm, Chinese food. I know, I really shouldn't be thinking about Chinese food six weeks out of weight loss surgery. But that was one of my favorite cuisines. So I was thinking, hmm, Chinese food. It'd be nice to have something that tasted like Chinese food. So when I got home, I made... um my version of egg foo young so i took two eggs um a half a cup of spaghetti squash and like one ounce of shredded chicken and i whisked it together sprayed my little skillet with some pam and poured it in there and waited and let it cook kind of like an omelet or a pancake you know wait till it gets a little firm and then flip it well i also added um fish sauce and oyster sauce to it I got done with that, and I take I took a bite. It was good. It tastes just like Egg Foo Young from the restaurant. It was really good. Unfortunately, at the same time, I was making um, some potato salad, and I sampled the potato salad, so I wasn't able to eat any more of the Egg Foo Young. So I'm going to try to have that for dinner tonight. But it's just been fun trying to play with different things, trying to make up new recipes. I, I, I used to enjoy cooking all the time. So the hardest part now is not tasting the food while I'm cooking it. So I can actually sit down and have a meal. So I think that may be all that I have going on. I don't think I have much more going on at this time. Just waiting, um, planning my sister's, well not planning, we're, we're finished buying all the decorations and everything and we're just um, waiting for the big day. My sister's getting married, so that's very exciting. She has about four weeks, three weeks. So that's exciting, getting ready for that. Other than that, just working, trying not to be sick. Oh, 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 I did. I, I joined a gym. Yes, mm -hmm, I did. My first gym that I've ever joined. Uh, so I joined Planet Fitness. We're getting a new one. Uh, it's not too far from my work. So they're not opening until in April. So once they open, I'll go to that as my home gym. Um, but I've been going to another location and I actually stopped on the way to my mom's and went to that location. So I think that is it. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you have any ideas about the, uh, the weight slowing down. You know, I was getting about five pounds a week now i'm down then i was down to three pounds and now i'm down to what one pound a week so which it's you know okay whatever it's 59 pounds in 10 weeks what else do you want lady right right all right guys well it's nice seeing you i've been watching everyone on facebook and youtube and it's nice having a community and you know, being able to ask other people questions and seeing where everyone else is at. And uh, if you have any other ideas for me, any recipes or anything like that. And if you want to know about the spaghetti squash egg foo young, I'll add that in the bottom as well. Okay, until next time, I will see you at my 11-week post-op. I'll see you then. Bye.